All right, so we're closing in on Captain America Civil War. Let's finish up the countdown and talk about Daredevil going up against the Punisher and getting involved with Elektra. Season 2, again created by Drew Goddard, and this was really very much anticipated for me. I was very much excited when I heard that to replace the hole now that the Kingpin is in prison at the end of Season 1. I was really wondering who was going to be the new antagonist for the Daredevil to go up, up against now that... The Kingpin is in prison for a little while, even though he, he still does show up in the show briefly. Played again by Vince D'Onofrio, and we get Frank Castle, a.k.a. Punisher, played by John Bernathal from The Walking Dead, to be the new antagonist. And, for an added bonus, we get Daredevil's hot love interest with the size, a.k.a. Elektra, played by Elodie Young. Great actor choices for these two characters. Let's talk about the guy with the big guns here, the Punisher. This guy's awesome. John Bernthal is excellent as the character. I, I did like Thomas Jane's version of the Punisher from the Punisher movie that starred uh, John Travolta as the villain. I think that one's a bit underrated. This version of the Punisher is excellent. John Bernthal really embodies the character, and I like the different points of views between the Punisher and Daredevil. Daredevil is dealing with the criminals that are left over from the Kingpin by not killing them and he's trying to do his best to help the police apprehend them and put them away in prison. But Punisher doesn't see this as the best option to take out these criminals. He wants them dead and he thinks that's the best way to, to take care of them because when they're dead they ain't coming back. Even that that means that make yourself no better than the criminals you're fighting against. And he's trying to push Daredevil to go that far which is really cool when you see them fight against each other. Now Matt Murdock, Daredevil, is trying to keep balance of him being the Daredevil with his alter ego of being Matt Murdock attorney, but it's getting very difficult and it's getting in the way of his legal responsibilities. Foggy doesn't really like covering for Matt Murdock. He seems to be the only one within the law firm that knows that Matt Murdock is the Daredevil. And Karen Page doesn't know. She's kept in the dark the whole time. But at the same time, the romance between Foggy and Karen is no more. They broke up sometime during season one. And now she has her eye on Matt Murdock. She and Matt Murdock are beginning to like each other. There is some pretty good chemistry between them. Which at first when I saw this happening, I didn't totally like it because I really liked the chemistry between Foggy and Karen a little bit more. But the chemistry between these two was getting very interesting. And then when Electra comes in and we have a love triangle, ooh, that gets even more heated. And it makes me feel bad for Karen because you know she's going to get her heart broken. <laughs> I kind of like her character. <laughs> I don't want to see her get her heart broken. <laughs> and Electra is such an awesome character, such a, such a bad girl and very intoxifying relationship there. And I love to see Daredevil and Electra fighting with each other. They team up against this ninja group called The Hand. The supernatural ninjas. That is awesome. There's also a point in this season where Frank Castle, the Punisher, gets arrested and the lawyer he gets to defend him is, of course, Nelson and Murdoch. Matt Murdoch and Foggy Nelson. And Daredevil 
escapades, that comes into a big problem when he, when Matt Burdock's supposed to be defending Frank Castle and Foggy Nelson's left doing most of the work and he doesn't like that at all. <laughs> so this was an awesome season. Is it better than season one? In some ways yes and in some ways no. Yes in the fact that John Bernthal is an awesome character and playing the Punisher and action's really more antied up. Also Stick, Scott Glenn's character shows up again and I really liked how he was worked into the season as well. But at the same time, the fact that the Kingpin is not in this as much as he was in season one since he was the main antagonist. The hole that he leaves behind is not totally filled very well between shifting back back and forth with Elektra and Punisher. Sometimes it, the season tends, tends to lose a little bit of its center, but it's still an excellent season and just goes so darn well. Daredevil gets a little bit of a better costume this time around to make him look a little bit better. I like how they work up to seeing the Punisher getting his iconic shirt with the skull on it. That's really cool how they work up to that and it's just this whole season is so awesome. So great, I'm giving this season an A. Definitely worth checking out on Netflix and I can't wait to watch Civil War. That's all I gotta say for Daredevil, season two.